Hello everybody, this is Dave Burkus for the Burkus Report for Eye on Business. Today with a very special edition, attempting to explain, for the first time perhaps, the Burkus method of valuation. You know, this is something that people on the internet have attempted to explain on my behalf for years. In fact, you'll find if you look closely, about 3,200 different times people have done this on the internet over the years past. So, if I can take my own chance to do the very thing other people have tried to do for me, let's explain the Burkus method and see if we can get away with it. So let me try and do just that now by saying that it's too simple to ignore. It's a valuation for, quote, simpletons. Don't consider us all simpletons, I hope. It's widely published, as you saw, and it's for very early stage companies primarily. So here is one way of explaining it, one that I've often done before. If you take four elements and give each element up to $500,000 worth of valuation. Now sometimes it can be more if you're in Northern California with high competition for a tech company. It could easily be a million dollars for each one of these. If you're in a flyover state without much competition for the money, it could be $200,000 or $300,000. If the company is so very early, it might even be less. But here they are. Number one, are you really as an investor interested enough anxious enough to get into this company and invest your money, that's worth something. So let's start with a basic valuation of up to $500,000 in our example, just for the fact that this company has attracted your attention and made you excited. Number two is the jockey, not the horse. That is, is there a good management team in place? Often we find that whatever the plan that you're looking at finalizes, it never quite makes it to market the same way we started when we made our investment. So is the jockey, not the horse. Is good management team going to make that change and keep the company valuable as it continues its process? Number three, are there any customers or suppliers that will validate this product or this service very early on, giving it strategic value? That is, that will help the company to kind of de-risk the marketing value or the marketing cost or the way in which the market reacts. Number four, is there a prototype or even a completed product? Do we get rid of the manufacturing risk? And finally, sometimes there is revenue as well. Well, other people have taken this, the Burkus method, and they have made things with it that aren't quite what I originally intended, but I enjoy seeing. So here's a good example. This by a man named Alan McCann several years ago did a very good job of attempting to do the very same thing, substituting a few things, but the whole point is de-risking this early stage investment. So we start with the business risk. The $500,000 of do I really want to make an investment into this company? Then we look at, in his case, the investment risk being separate from that. And the investment risk is basically looked over by the board of directors and the advisory board appointed when the company first begins to see whether or not they can help protect the investor and therefore reduce investment risk. Next, we've spoken about it from the other method I described of my own, and that is the marketing risk. Are there customers to validate this early enough on to be able to de-risk it from the marketing standpoint? Next, the execution risk. Can the management team make it happen? If so, this company is obviously worth more than if the product stands alone without good management. And finally, can the developers actually produce what you've said or what they have said that the product can be made of and how can the service be uh, rolled out? That's worth another 500,000 based upon the quality of the developers themselves. So take all of these together or any of those elements you choose to add. In a medical tech company, it may be something to do with FDA approvals. All of these things can be made into elements of de-risking a company for its valuation. Well, I hope this helps to at least show you that there are many ways of looking at this thing they call the Burkus Method to be able to value early stage companies. You'll find more information if you look at either Burkus.com or Burkonomics.com and I look forward to speaking with you or at least having a chance to speak to you next time we meet. This is Dave Burkus for the Burkus Report for Eye on Business.